Good morning and welcome to our Wednesday Reflection. This is specifically addressed to the Congregation of Pollock Shields Church. I hope you enjoyed on Sunday the fact that we were able to meet with the whole church together in worship in the service led by the moderator. But really, Pentecost, that celebration, reminds us that it's not the big off one event that counts. It's what happens next. It wasn't the huge gathering in the flames that built a church, but what happened after the people had listened to Peter's preaching and understanding that God had poured out his spirit afresh on the world. Individual people gathered together. They found a way of sharing together in prayer, in fellowship, in sharing meals, in sharing possessions. They found a way of being together that mattered. You can read about it in Acts chapter 2 from verses 43 onwards. How the believers came together. A new way of being God's people. We're in a challenging time when we need to find afresh what it is for us to be God's people. How will we come together again? How soon can we come together again as a congregation? To meet in our building, to make our building safe and open and welcoming for others. How will we gather and be able to sing and pray together, to know again the fellowship, a word that we find difficult to express, but we know exactly what it is that we're missing. Not so much hearing the words and the preaching, but being able to share and reflect on them with one another, to find the inspiration for our own prayers and our own living. Hopefully it won't be long before, as lockdown continues to ease, we'll be able to be in our gathering space again. But until then, stay safe, keep faithful, and keep faithfully serving as best you can those around you. Let us pray. Holy God, pour out again your spirit on all your people. Give us a fresh understanding of what it means to be your church in this time. Bless us as we seek to serve you, as we hold each other before you in prayer. Be with us and all your people of the church here and in all the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.